Is it to take him in the road his head? Sorry, that's on subordination. Never you mind. What you going to be going to come on to the plan of duty? For a lonely as I am. Living with the best people in my time. Even if there's not that much of me hanging above the ground now. Just hanging above the ground from a branch of a tree that you want. <laughs> I was only a shareholder. I would, I would make him dance. Well, listen here. Why don't you become a shareholder? Sure. How can I? That you could become one on the spot. Out here is Einstein and the only good you can have to get rid of his shares if they got the full price for them. Because you see, the will is not going to be clear at the minute. By her, I don't want to talk to you and me. He's not the new group. Ah, come on, never mind you. You're the brainy one, Jude Ryan. For Cairns' house is a short distance from here. The shares bought, and still be back in time to stop the express. The gain is taken down, so let's see your change of faces once more. By Joe, Patricia, that was some squeeze. <laughs> As a place you could say there was room for a brick. Never before <laughs> Adam jammed in such a poking room. <laughs> so what can't happen to your lovely necktie? That's like the flagship of an ocean steamer. Never mind, dear. We have not time. Let's get away. But where? I never did think this in open business. But where are we to go? We should have to hunt for a car. But we can't get one at this hour. I'm blessed to find no what to do. Beastly is the word for it. To be candid, dear, I'm famished. <laughs> we didn't have something to wash down her past. What's your objection to the, a bottle of lemonade? I let you have it, Jim. Where did you get that? I bought it off a blue ribbon party that you used today. Why, Joe, that's an <laughs> extraordinary fine idea. Why, this was just left the feast to celebrate our forthcoming marriage. Do you mind, Mr. Pratt? Oh, not at all. Well, we have only one cup. All the better, eh, Patricia? A sort of loving cup. <laughs> Perfectly scrumptious idea. Dear, do you know what this reminds me of? No. Having a dear, delightful me. And a home of her own stone. Oh, you make me so shy. It's a vibe that calls one blush to rise to your soft cheeks. But we mustn't be selfish in our happiness. Mr. Crowley, you will try a scone. Please do. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, just in honor of this auspicious occasion, as the papers would say. Auspicious occasion? <laughs> Why, that's a fine word. Did you hear it, Patricia? <laughs> yes, dear. And Sabi, you look at one. Oh, my teeth are stuck to me, Mum. <laughs>
Is that right, sir? Well, I suppose so. Now, I can't do as I wish. Excuse me, Mark, think you must stop the express. He wants them to get married to spite me. It's to spite me and nothing for one. Well, oh! Thank you. 
smoking cigarettes, never mind taking a, taking a dot, and a family that spent every penny they ever had on publicans and pawnbrokers. We won't part, never. Never means two sheets of a lamb to deal with there and one of them. Thank you. Out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd see you there. Your business to me. Spain, suspended, reprimand. Oh, 